Anna Dixon. Um, so this is something else that God had put in my spirit and all of you are going to understand and agree with what I'm saying. So, um, and I'm just going to keep it transparent. So after the fast, um, I went, hello, hi, look like they, um, they did something just now, huh? But anywho, so I'm going to see, I'm going to wait to see if you guys get on here. Look like they kind of like did something to it. Hello, let me know you guys are on here. All right, so some of you on here, I'm going to go. So basically, after the fast, um, God had gave me this. I had, I think I went to Popeye's, and then I think I went to Sonic. Um, you know, like I'll eat chicken a lot. I don't eat, you know, like all the rest of the crazy stuff, right? So I went to Popeye's. You guys, that chicken was so hard. And then hold on. So usually, you know, so I, I kind of like set it for the next day. I say, okay, now the old Popeye's chicken you could put in the refrigerator and you can go reheat it up and it was good. So I tried reheating that chicken up the next day. It was so hard. It tasted weird. I had to throw all of it away. I said, dad, don't eat that. All right. That was the first thing. Then I got a chicken sandwich from Sonic's and it just tasted weird. It tasted like clone meat. I know y'all don't know what clone meat tastes like, but it, it just, it has a weird taste. It's, it's like it's not real. So, God was like, and he's been telling me this, so let me tell y'all what fast food stand for, for the fast stand for. It stands for food altered systematically to terminate us. The food is not good. Y'all don't notice lately, the chicken is hard, um, everything is going on. You must have forgot. Excuse me. You forgot. That's all right. That's all right. All right. Just come on in. So anyway, um, the food is hard. Um, and it just tastes weird. God says, start eating at home. Start preparing your meals. Things are happening on purpose. They're doing stuff on purpose. Y'all got to understand. I know y'all know what time it is. I mean, think about it. Y'all don't notice all the recent things that's happening with the fast food industry. That's why they made fast food. Let me tell y'all something. And, and some of you are not going to like what I'm getting ready to say, but that's okay. I'm used to all that. You ever heard the term fat enough to kill? <laughs> that's real. Even them government checks, them stimulus. Now, you don't have to believe in nothing I say. Just keep it behind your mind. So, I know, and hold on. Let me, God even, he walked it out. He told me how they did it. He said, they got people so tired from working from you know whatever else you got to do in life until that's when they made these fast food restaurants well we don't have time to cook because we're always working we're always doing something right notice when people really start getting sick y'all gotta understand some of the terminal cancer some of the um even with the kids y'all i gotta do the research i gotta do research because you know you know how people listen but they don't listen um, if you go on YouTube, you'll see a McDonald hamburger lasted what two, three years. This guy did a, um, some kind of, I guess, some kind of project. You understand what I'm saying? Stop eating out, God says. Stop it. I know you're tired sometimes, but cook for your family. At least you know what you're doing. You still have to pray over the food. I'm going to tell you all right now. All of me look weird. Everything looks weird. you got to pray over the food. So it's not going to be a long drawn out video. I just, I've been wanting to do this because this is what God told me. Again, the fast foods, that's a ploy. All they have is all kind of chemicals in there, God says. And I'm going to read the acronym again. God told me, he says, it's food altered systematically to terminate us. You know, so some of you just don't know the stuff they're putting up all in that. So I decree and declare I'm not eating fast food no more. Period. End of story. Even sometimes I just used to get the fries. I'm not eating anything. I'm going to go ahead and cook. <laughs> you know, I know we get tired and all that, but y'all have to understand what time it is. The elite is really real. And I know some people don't believe, and that's fine. That's fine. I challenge every last one of you to do something, though. Don't eat fast food. You and your children for two weeks. Watch the energy you have. Watch the clarity you have. Watch everything change. It's going to trip you out. It's going to be like, wait a minute, you're going to feel better? I think people don't understand what's happening here. And I know they don't. 
Because guess what? I just said it in the last video. Everybody been brainwashed. Almost like sheep going astray. We, we do what they say to do. And, and how we do it, they don't really tell us. They do it through commercials. <laughs> the food be looking so good. And tell the truth. Have you ever got a sandwich that looked like the commercial? No. And, and oh, I found out about that because, you know, I'm a chef, right? Those are prompts. They're not even real. I'm like, oh, Lord, they're really fooling people. It's not even real. I'm serious. I was like, wow, that's cold. It be looking so good. So I pray that y'all understand and that y'all really, <sighs> I'm telling you, I know that, well, I kind of like do vegan food now, but they put in chemicals even in the, in the, in the veggies. So it's like. You just got to pray. That's what God told me to tell y'all. So I'm going to keep it short to the point. He said, pray over everything. So even when you're cooking stuff, you still got to pray. Because they have they have put in chemicals in everything. Even the water. If y'all notice the water tastes funny. Come on. I know y'all got to be paying attention. But I guess if you're so tired or maybe you're not paying attention. But try, try that challenge for two weeks. Don't eat out. And watch everything improve in your life as far as physically and mentally mental clarity and everything so short video just telling y'all what god says all right god bless you god keep you this is apostle deanna dixon bro i soldiers for that is truly who we are god bless love y'all